currently there are 3 million job vacancies in the world for cybersecurity experts. 3 million. And all of these countries are looking at sourcing those talents. And Philippines is actually one of the first areas that they look at dahil magagaling daw tayo mga hackers. <laughs> I think uh, back in the year 2000, we landed in the world uh, stage no, with our I love you virus. So we, the Filipinos are well known as uh, technology, early technology adopters. If you would recall, nung naunang lumabas ang cellphone at may text message, Pilipino po ang naging text capital ng buong mundo. Ngayon, nag-evolve yun, nagkaroon ng social media at Facebook. Sino na naman no ang naging number one sa Facebook? Pilipino rin no. Tayo ang naging number one sa Facebook. So, the world, all the technology companies look at the Philippines as a country that, are, that is composed of young people who are early technology adopters. And so, they expect that we would produce a lot of these talents. And that will be the new um, answer. No? These are very high-paying jobs, and the demand is very, very high. So, I think um, I made a brief summary of what was uh, reported um, during the cabinet meeting from the DICT. Thank you very much. And um, should I address questions now? Or? Oh, yes, okay. Sec Ivan, we have yes. a question from John Ayu of Radio Inquirer. Filipino sa cyber security. But do we have enough cyber security professionals dito sa Pilipinas ngayon? Y yun, yun ang sinasabi ko kanina, no? Kulang na kulang tayo. At um, actually, when we talk about like uh, certified cyber security experts, we call the CISSP, no? Mm -hmm. Certified. We only have to about 200 of them in the country. Compared to Singapore, that has, I think, about 3,000. Mm -hmm. Ang napakaliit na bansa ang Singapore. But ganun ang numbers nila. Dito sa atin, 200 something lang. And only 30% of them are in country. The 70% are actually working abroad. So we need to build up that competency. Kaya yun yung programs na nino-launch namin sa DICT to aggressively uh, provide uh, the, 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 ano, the technical know-how. Ang, ang nangyayari kasi is marami tayong mga talented na 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 technical people pero hindi sila nagko-qualify for the jobs dahil wala silang credentials yung certification kumbaga ano ito um, self self learn at marami ka nakikita no kung makikita mo lang pumunta lang kayo sa Vera Mall kung kung nasira yung mga mobile phones niyo no uh, or may mga phones na nakalock sasabihin ng manufacturer hindi yan magbe-break pero pagdali mo doon <laughs> ilang minuto lang pagbalik sa iyo bukas na. So, marami tayong ganun. Ngunit, wala ko silang ano, wala silang certificate. So, kung kahanap sila ng employ employment, eh, hahanapin yung credentials, wala. So, ang objective ng DICT, bigyan natin ng credentials. So, what we're doing now is we're working, let's say, with um, the, the large uh, technology companies um, and asking them, oh, ano yung mga certification programs na meron sa inyo? Some of them are just three months or six months of certification. Tapos ang ginagawa namin, um, iniimbita namin itong mga, ano, uh, mga technical people, oh, mag-enroll kayo. Uh, either subsidize or free. Um, and then from there, we provide them with either a, a scholarship so th they can take the certification. At oras na meron silang certificate na from from Cisco, from Oracle, from Intel, from Microsoft, employable na sila. So, yan yung mga so short programs, but we are ab we will be able to bridge that that gap. Because napagaling natin, ngunit ang kulang lang is building up on those credentials. 
Sir, mga ilan po ang kailangan natin na makuha ang mga cyber uh, crime professionals? Well, I think sky's the limit here, no? Considering na 2 million yung yung ano, yung yung vacancies in the world. If we can supply even just one fourth of that, 500,000, I think that that's a very very um, very uh, ambitious number. But uh, I, I think I know uh, we need to build up the interest and we need to develop uh, the necessary talent. So, yano ang uh, um, uh, pinagkakaabalahan natin is uh, building up. Kasi hindi lang ho ito abroad, no? Ito mga BPOs natin dito sa Pilipinas and mga financial institutions natin, mga banko, mga ano, um, uh, uh, business sector, they all are looking for for that. And that's just one of them, cybersecurity. Napakarami pa hong iba. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.